Matt on the Butler chain today. We're chasing schooling fish, not on Lake Toho. They're not biting very good over there. I've been out here. This is my third day out here and we've been catching a bunch of fish. We've already got one little small one in the boat, but they're just blowing up bait fish all over the place. So we're throwing top water. I got two guys here from Texas out here for a baseball tournament and we're throwing some top water stuff. Should have done a video yesterday. I've said this a bunch of times because we caught I had a guy and a son from Brazil and we caught an 8-2 on a fluke and we caught a little seven-year-old kid caught a 6-9 all by himself. But we're out here chasing schoolers. We're going to do a bunch of different stuff. See how many different baits we can catch them on. Fluke, topwater, Alabama rig, lipless crankbait, spinnerbait. Who knows what else we'll throw. Right now it's all about topwater. So let's see how many fish we can catch today. We'll try and catch 40. See if it happens. Okay, I'll let it sink for about 10 seconds and then just give it two twitches. Let it sink again. I always try and let the line stay slack though when it's sinking. So it'll sink straight down instead of swinging at the boat. Got him? Oh, God dang, you let go of it. I, 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 I got to get more time, yep. don't you? Yep. Did he come back and get it? I think he did. He's a little one. <laughs> Followed it up to the boat. He's a little one. He come back and got it. He's a long fish, though. Yeah. Some of them are skinny this time of year because it's August. But they will eat a fluke all day long. Hopefully they'll come back up. That big school will come back up. Right the bottom of the mouth. <laughs> There's our only our second fish of the day. We had to switch over to the old standard dead sticking flukes. You burying it up? Yeah, so you burying it like that? Yeah. I have gone to a 5 aught heavy wire hook though, so it'll sink a little quicker and we can make long casts with it. Normally I use a 4 aught, but I want it to sink a little quicker. couple on this yesterday they weren't really they weren't hit yeah you can florida has no rules on it i could put a, i could put another alabama rig on this back on this middle one i could hang five consecutive alabama rigs on here if i wanted to but it, they're not hitting it as good as you think they would you think th i threw it right through the school and i think i shut them down yesterday so i've been throwing them off of the school and half the time they're hitting it when i pause it like this like that <laughs> Talk about doing something on on cue. I don't know. I might have two fish, or I have them foul hook. Oh, I do. I got two. That's the first time I've done that in the past three days. Wow. A double. Did you did you video it? Yeah. I finally, for the first time this week, something happened cool. <laughs> that's kind of cool while I have my videos going. It would be better if they were like four pounders but I doubled up on the old Alabama rig on the butler chain. And it's still, and I still only have about two pounds of fish. <laughs> What's the length limit? Well, Florida has a, no, you're, it's a weird deal now. They're trying to rid some of the lakes of smaller fish. So you can keep five fish per person legally, 16 inches or under. And only one of them can be over 16. So you can you could go out and catch a bass this big yeah. and take it home with you. Like Lake Fork. Yeah, Lake Fork has some weird stuff too. Yep, so there's that Alabama rig. Throw it, yeah, I'll throw it out to the deep. Yeah. We did catch some fish yesterday though here, like you just did, yeah. right beside the boat. They're not afraid of the. Oh, there's on my Alabama rig again. Oh, do I have another two? I'm gonna have to rig all of some Alabama rigs. I got two again. I haven't doubled up on this thing ever on this lake. I got it. Oh, I lost one of them. 
I have never doubled up on this lake before. I guess I've still only done it once. But they're small. That was first cast. I should probably put it down because I caught it on one first cast in the last time. And then uh, they're biting it weird though. <clears throat> I'm not just reeling it, I'm doing this. So you're swimming them? Yeah. I'm, they're hitting it when it's falling. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta rig it up from Alabama rig. I lost him. No, he came back and got it. Lost him too. They are on an Alabama rig bite. You're not supposed to catch fish when my camera's off. Let's get a picture. That's your first one on an Alabama rig, Bubba. You know, you're actually the first customer I've ever had to catch one on an Alabama rig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. I just don't rig them up for people that much. Right cool. in the sun. Cool. It would have been nicer if he was about six or seven pounds. Yeah. But yeah. you caught one on an Alabama rig. You hooked it. You hooked him in the handle. I'm gonna venture out here a little bit. I don't think these fish are relating to the point as much as there's just bait out in here. You know? Yeah, there's bait coming through that channel or something there. Or just... just a hole. Just bait, there's bait all over the place. Why do we go to the um, south side of this lake when the sun's up over by Shack's house and stuff? How much bait you're gonna see out there? Hmm. Two! Oh my you got a double! Double! Yeah. Double! Oh you're you're a baseball player. You've hit four singles and now you got a double. <laughs> Sweet. I don't believe that. Hang on, little booger. I don't know. I don't know. Double. That's three. Well, That's I didn't three land. Basically three. Yeah, doubles. I didn't land my second oh, double. Up, we want to... Oh my god. I didn't land my second double, so we have he's, two doubles. He's, uh, he's pretty small mouth. You gotta really get your thumb on. Nobody will believe that. Here, we'll put this in the picture. Yeah, there you go. Our guy's going to want uh, us sending you all these photos. <laughs> <laughs> it would be awesome if they were bigger, but yeah. catching a double on an Alabama rig is awesome. I guess I also got first double on there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes, you did. He hit a double. Got him. The Alabama rig king. I'm telling you. That boy's got it down pat. Look at that. A little bit bigger. Oh, I thought he was bigger. Yeah, it? it was I, his, his I angle. He was in the water. He looked bigger. Got him in the eye. Oh. He, I bet he saw that coming. Uh. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm horrible with those puns. I'll drop those all day long on you. It's my wife. All she does is roll her eyes at me all the time. Oh, God. We go. Oh, hold on. That one's rolled over. I saw that. I was about to change it. There we go. <laughs> well, how many is that? That's five singles? Five singles, singles and a double. That's a way up more than I Caught seven on an Alabama rig. It's awesome. Just be nice if they were bigger. Oh, there's one. bigger? No. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit. He's pulling like it. He thought he was bigger. Yeah, he's a little bigger, I think. Look at that. Look at this fish pulling. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's a bigger one. Yeah. That's probably a two. Huh? That's a bigger one. It's not like huge. No, it's just no, a little no, maybe. No, maybe. Maybe a one and a half. Yeah. It is baby fish day so far. But, I mean, again, yesterday we caught a whole bunch of these and then stuck two big ones. So, uh, 
it was probably around they didn't make it the full six hours they they pooped out after five and a half and uh so it was probably a little after 11 that we caught it the seven the seven year old got real hot the set the wind stopped and it just got hot and i could tell he was struggling Let's go uh, check out this other lake, couple lakes over. They did good though. 8-2 and a 6-9. In the middle of August is pretty strong. I would say that's pretty good. So here's me being a horrible YouTuber. I didn't have the camera on. But he just caught our biggest fish of the day in a new spot in some grass. This is where we caught the 8-2 yesterday. Now, so you see this fish, he's probably three three and a half pounds it's hard to tell in the camera because my hands in front of it but he's not that skinny but see how he's just straight you get on this light this chain of lakes in the sun in the winter time or in the spawn and this fish right here will weigh four and a half four and three quarter pounds because they'll get this fat they just have yeah, they will. They out. it's summertime they have their shirts off a lot this time of year because they go to the beach and stuff and they don't want to look fat but that's a 20 no, fish, yeah say? yeah nice one there you go so, man, on a flute, up in uh, some pepper grass. That fish could go five. He's four. not my. I, whenever he flopped on the ground, he looked bigger than he was. He's skinny. It's because everything else we caught today was really skinny <laughs> and small, and it made it look bigger. Yeah, just be careful bringing them in like that. You, 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 I, I Let me get a, another look. bag of flukes out of there. One like that, you might want to look. I forgot. That's a big fish. He's right here. To turn the camera on and didn't even get you reeling them in. But we have proof that you caught it. So when y'all go back and Grandpa tries to say that he didn't get that he didn't catch it, <laughs> it's on here. Again, it just had that five aught heavy wire hook, so it'll sink down a little quicker. Weightless. Yeah, it get all hung up. This this pepper grass, there's not a lot of stuff that it'll that'll come through it. I didn't even feel that thing take it. It just, just pulled. completely. Yeah, we just stayed over here out of the wind all day. And... I can't reel right-handed to save my life. I just picked up this rod to see if they eat, they eat it. I mean, I can, but it feels weird. That's what he's doing. Oh, you see that fish? I think I found, I found another Alabama rig spot. Here, I, I can't use this. Oh. I'm gonna fix the hooks on this one real quick. There is some grass out there, but that one, I got a hit on that one right when it started falling. Let's see if we can get back on your Alabama rig bite. Put the Alabama rig master up there. Got him? I think so. Yep. My turn, Kate. Oh, double! My turn, Kate. Oh, we got oh almost oh, a double. Pretty I, much. I still have to double. You don't. What are you saying? They don't make it in the boat and they ain't catch? Yeah, exactly. Do we we need to get a three-pull. That's what it's called, right? A three-pull? <laughs> I don't know. A triple? I've never <laughs> seen one. I've seen many doubles. I've had one triple before. I've never seen one. That was my, my son called it, called it a three-pull one time. A triple? A three-pull. Three oh, my God. He's seven. 
So right we've had what now? Two official doubles and two almost doubles. We need to get a three pull. That's a four pull. That's four. I'll bet you did. Another little one. Maybe the oh, little ones right here. Look how much darker they are in here. Oh, they are dark. Yeah. So the uh. Yeah, underneath that step or something. I guess I can only catch them on an Alabama rig. Yeah, you can only catch them on an Alabama rig. We're we're more of the fluke type people up here, the old guys. But we had a pretty good day at the Butler chain today. Yeah. They can't see me. Hold on. Here I am. We had a good day at the Butler chain today. We didn't catch anything big except for his three and a half pounder, which was just a respectable fish. But we did get on that Alabama rig bite, which or umbrella rig, whatever you want to call it. The controversial bait of the century. The old umbrella rig. We had, how many doubles did we have? Uh, we had two that we kept and two, two got off. Three got off, right? No, no, no. 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 We had two, four doubles. Four doubles. Four doubles but we had a good day on the Alabama rig, but no big fish like yesterday. Like the pictures I threw up a while back. I'm convinced that it's the cameras. When I pull the cameras out, the big fish don't bite. There's some signal the GoPro sends out that keeps us from catching big fish, especially in the summertime. No, it doesn't happen every day, but thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the Alabama rig. Should it be illegal? or illegal or is it only illegal because people that don't know how to fish it or never learned how to fish it whined about it too much that's my opinion we'll see you next time